What's up, folks? Coach Blaze Thompson back for day two of month one of the healthy quadrants. The first month in this, looking at the opposite side of the coin from what we did earlier in the week. Remember, we're focusing on a rep range of 8 to 12 for this month. We're also working on your cadence. We're going to have a one-second push in the concentric or the positive portion of the exercise. It usually goes with the name of the exercise. And four seconds in the eccentric or the negative, so we have time under tension with each exercise. We're looking for 40, 45 seconds to a minute, 15 seconds to actually be moving the weight. It's going to burn. It's going to get pretty. All right, we're going to start off today with incline press. We're going to take a seat. we got four sets of 10. Notice the bench is not overly inclined. The higher you go, the more shoulders. So I really got a low incline, about 35 degrees up there. I want to pick the bar up. Hands slightly wider than shoulder width. I'm going to control down. If you have a shoulder issue, you can stop about two inches above the chest. Come all the way down if you can and push and squeeze those pecs. Powering up. This is my favorite exercise. I am a pretty boy at heart, and that incline chest press is the one. Four sets of 10. Now we're going to superset. So coming up, after you get done with your four sets of 10, a little superset. We have got chin ups superseted with goblet squats. So I just make the adjustments. Remember, chin ups are gonna be palms facing each other or palms facing you. I prefer the neutral grips, a little easier on the wrists. You're gonna be stretched all the way down, you'll pull your shoulders down, and then you're gonna pull up, and I like to really arch back, stare at the ceiling, get those elbows to wrap around behind your back. Nice, pretty chin up. If you need assistance, you can throw bands on your rack. You can also hang a band from the center, put your knee in it or you can go to TRX straps. But for today, we're gonna to stretch, come all the way up, staring at the ceiling, control all the way back down. Come all the way up, one, come down slow, one, two, three, four. All the way up with that nice controlled cadence on the way down, and that's gonna get tasty. Coming up next, you've got goblet squat. So you can use a kettlebell or a dumbbell. You wanna go in a foot position, two. So just slightly wider than shoulder width. Get a goblet squat, elbows in, so the bell is up. I'll sit down, par just below parallel at the top line of the thigh. Notice my knees are tracking out. Come back up and I snap with a little squeeze at the top to finish. You're gonna go down slow to snap back up to the top on that goblet squat. That's your little superset. Now we're gonna look at your finisher. We're gonna take off and look at the chest press machine. So I wanted to do something for it. All right, next we're looking at flat oh, chest press. So I've adjusted this machine. There's lots of good ways you can do this. Basically, you want to make sure you're up straight, pushing straight out. That'll happen when I'm laying on my back down here. So I'll take a seat. We're going to lay back, push up under control, flare the elbows a little bit, squeeze up at the top, control, two, three, four, accelerate the bar to the top. All right, let's go take a look at some alternatives. Substitutions for that machine press. If you don't have a machine, you can go TRX, chest press, squeeze it to the center. You can make this bad boy hard by walking back. Lots of stabilization and healthy shoulder work going on when you use the TRX substitution. You can also go dumbbell, flatten your bench out, boom, squeeze up to the inside. I want to hit it a little different. Now on to the next exercise in the secondary circuit. Next is side plank twists. So I'm going to be down on my side, stack my feet. It's kind of level one. Coming up, I'll reach under with my hand and turn. Come back up. I want it to be harder, side plank touch. I'm going to rotate my feet too and reach way out. Come back up under control. Touch and back up. Next exercise in the circuit is going to be a dumbbell row. So flattening out my bench, grabbing a dumbbell, same hand and knee on the bench, hips Booty kind of suck out, chest out, a nice power position. Pull up, control, back down. Pull up, I'm thinking about wrapping that elbow around the back. I'm not rowing from way out front, I'm gonna let it hang underneath the shoulder. Boom, and squeeze, control, back down, dumbbell row. Next up, we got the leg curl machine. Let's go check it out. All right, so next we got a leg curl. We set the machine up. You want the knee to be neutral so it's not locking you out. I'll show you a very light bend of the knee. Adjust the leg portion so it's right back here on your Achilles. I've already got it set up for me. I'm going to grab the grips, curl up, control, one, two, three, four. Curl up, control, one, two, three, four. A great cue for this is you want your knee 
in line with the knee on the machine, where it curls from. That's how you'll know you're set up in the right spot. Let's take a look at an alternative. All right, ball leg curl alternative. I got my heels on the fitness ball, raise up. You can, don't hold tight to the floor. Ideally, you're stable, you'll curl in, keep your hips really high, control back out. Control, pull it in, get those hips up. That's your ball leg curl. And now we're gonna finish your day with a little rear raise. I always like to address hamstrings, rotator cuffs, all right? So for the rear raise, I got some small dumbbells. I don't need big ones. I'll be seated on the end of the bench. I'll lean forward. I'm gonna bring my arms down where they hang. I always say knuckles on the shoelaces is another way to look at it. I'm gonna make a little Y to the front. Keep your shoulders down and back. You don't wanna overextend and just make a little Y to the front. Your dumbbell, control it down. Rear raise, up, control down. So that's your finishing circuit. You got two to three rounds of that circuit. This is day two of that healthy quadrant. Good luck and be well.